Windows Active Directory is one of the most important things when we're talking about a Windows environment. And the reason for that is because it is the brains behind everything. And so it allows us to manage a Windows environment, but for an attacker, it also gives them a pathway to be able to do really anything that they want. And so that'll make a lot of sense when we understand what Active Directory really does. So at its core, Windows Active Directory is essentially a logical structure of all of the systems and all of the users inside of that Windows network. Now, it's essentially that map of all these things and how do they interact together. Now, that's important because along with this map, it also has all of the rules for all the systems and all the users for what they have to abide by. And so that's important because with that, Active Directory is managing user authentication and the privileges that are assigned to those user accounts. And that's where those rules come into play. If I'm a regular user account, Active Directory is going to say, hey, you can't log into this server or you can't run this particular program. Those are the rules that are there. However, at the same time, when we have things such as a domain administrator account, which is a very highly privileged user account. It's really the top of the food chain in terms of admin accounts in a Windows environment. That's going to say, hey, if you are a domain admin account, you have access to the entire environment and all of its resources. And that is why attackers go after that domain admin account, because it's essentially giving them the keys to the system. So when we look at Active Directory, again, it's this map of everything that's contained within the environment. And it's stored as these things called objects inside of Active Directory. Now these objects, again, are gonna be user accounts. So that's gonna have certain information like, what's the username? What's that password for that user? You can add other information like phone numbers, departments, things of that nature. In addition, it'll store information on the computer, such as the computer name but it also stores things like printers and shared folders. So it's this whole catalog of everything that an environment needs to know about to run effectively. And this is really the core of most modern businesses throughout the world. They're really built off of this technology. Anytime you see a Windows environment in a corporate environment, most likely it's gonna be built off of Active Directory. Now. I mentioned domain controllers before. Those are the servers that manage Active Directory. So they are very, very important. And that's why attackers, when they break into an environment, one of the main things that they're trying to do is get access into that domain controller. Not only is that going to allow them to steal all of the usernames and passwords for every user in Active Directory, but it's also gonna provide a pivot point to really any system in the environment that is joined to Active Directory. And the reason for that is because in order for a system to function properly in a Windows environment that has Active Directory, it has to have communication and be able to talk to that domain controller. And so attackers know this, and in most environments, when they get access to that domain controller, they can then just log into any other system because they'll have domain admin privileges, uh, after they, they collect that information. And then they have the highway, that network path to get to any system that they really want to, again, that's specifically joined to Active Directory. So there's another concept in Active Directory that's really important, especially for larger organizations. Now, it's this idea of trust. So within Active Directory, you can have a bunch of different environments that can communicate with each other. And so a lot of times what you see is that organizations that have a global presence is they'll have a US-based Active Directory environment. And then they'll also have, say, a UK-based Active Directory environment. And so they'll set up trust between that because it's easier to manage it. You know, if I'm in the US and I wanna manage a system in the UK, I don't wanna to have to use another username and password. I just wanna use the one that I'm using for my day-to-day -day, uh, administrative uh, operations. And so you can set this up so that 
systems in the UK will trust user accounts in the US as long as they have the right admin privileges. Now, the reason this is important is because let's say we have a scenario where a threat actor gets credentials and access to a system in the finance department. So from there, they can break in, they can start moving laterally, and they do a lot of different things to try to get uh, additional credentials. And eventually, they're probably going to end up on an IT system uh, where they'll get a domain administrator credential. And so when they get the domain administrator credentials for that environment, they then have access to really anything else in that environment. So as I said before, they'll have access to all the user accounts, they'll have access to all the users' uh, systems, and they can really do whatever they want. Now, because there's a trust in authentication between the two environments, the US environment and the UK environment, the attackers can just log into those systems in the UK because they already have that privileged account. Now, you can see this is bad because if we have just these two environments here, well, that's essentially just the complete compromise of the entire environment. And so this is really important to understand because when you're looking at the security of an environment, you want to understand, hey, if there is a compromise of an account in this particular area, say the U.S. region, will that provide the ability for an attacker to then log into other systems? And you ask that by understanding, is there a trust between the two domains? And so that's a little bit on Active Directory and why it's so important. And you'll see as we go along in these series that it's going to be the root of how attackers are able to move throughout environments and why they go to domain controllers because it does give them the keys to the kingdom.